Hey there guys, Rodrigo and this is your Vbro from Tech Week team and so today in this video we will be taking a look at some of the steps that will really supercharge your gaming performance of your computer. It will work in both desktop as well as laptop. So yeah it would be really great remember guys this methods will surely improve your gameplay after you have done everything correctly so without further ado let's get into the video okay so the first step that we have in our list is to enable ultimate performance well, this option is only working for Windows 10 1803 build or higher. So if you don't know which version or which build of Windows 10 you have, just follow my steps. Just go to the start button and then search for run. And then on run, just type in winver. It's spelled as W-I-N-V-E-R. Then hit enter. And after hitting enter, you can just take a look at the version of or the build of Windows that you are currently running. Remember, ultimate performance is not readily available and you will need to execute a simple command in order to get that. And for this, just right click the start button and select PowerShell admin, and then copy and paste the code from the website down below. We have a detailed information related to all the steps in our website, so do visit it for more clear cut information. After copying the code, just paste it in the PowerShell and then hit enter. After that, just close the window and go to power and sleep settings and then go to additional powers. And then there you will find the ultimate performance mode and just enable it. After that, boom, you're done. You don't need to even to reboot your computer. And so, yeah, that's the first step. So the second step is to update all your drivers. And yeah, I know it sounds kind of boring that updating drivers, but trust me, new drivers can give you noticeable performance boost. Now you might think, and now you'll have to search each and every driver for your system and just it will consume a huge amount of time. But don't worry, Intel driver and support assistant is here to rescue you. Just install it from our website. Don't worry about the links, all the download links and other information is there in our article down below. So go ahead and explore our article. After downloading the support assistant, install it normally into your system and then you can go and check for updates. As you can see, I have an update related to my graphics driver and in this way, even you will have some or maybe not or whatever. If you have any drivers, just make sure you have all the latest drivers installed all right now let's get into the third step that is kind of basic it just close all the applications running in the background in order to get the most out of your system because if you are running chrome or other resource hungry application in the background it will use huge junk of your ram and processing power which will surely hamper the performance of your game running or any application so an easy and quick tip is to close all the applications that are running in the background before playing any game or opening up any application All right, the fourth tweak that we have is to trying out on parking CPU cores for performance. Core parking is a feature that sets off processor cores to stay idle and not running any threads on the current power policy. And this, this decrease in the energy consumption speed. This is mostly seen in laptops and also some of the desktop. So when we unpark the CPU cores, then it's just isn't any power saving modes anymore. It's just really ready all those cores for uh, helping it perform well in the game or application. So to do that, just download the application from our article and then open it, in, open it up. After opening, just click on unpark all the CPUs and minimize the application. And your process is ready for gaming now. It's it's that simple, you know, it's pretty easy. This will also improve the performance of your games and all the other kind of applications that you're doing. But remember, it might consume a bit of your uh, power and also might just a bit make your CPU warm. All 
All right, so the fifth step is to optimize your graphics card to perform to its peak performance. This is different than different CPUs, but for this video, I will show you for Intel integrated graphics. The process will be kind of similar for Nvidia as well as Radeon graphics cards. Well, first of all, open up Intel graphics command center. Remember, this might be different for you, so don't freak out. All right, just watch out for similar op options in your graphics manager and you're good to go. After that, go to system and at top, you can see it says power. Go there and you will see there will be an option for plugged in and on battery. This is only for laptop. If you have a desktop, there won't be any plugged in, I guess. So go to plugged in and then select maximum performance. After that, you just need to close the manager and boom. This will be kind of same for all sorts of graphics chipsets that there are in the market. So yeah, it's pretty easy. On number six, we have, it's pretty kind of common, you know, it's just changing the advanced settings to performance mode. So to do that in desktop, right click on PC and then go to properties on left side, you will see that advanced uh, system settings. Now click on performance settings and then click on adjust windows for best performance. Hit apply and just restart your PC. Boom, done. Now let's get into the seventh tweak that we have right now that is adding virtual memory. You know, virtual memory uh, often shows great improvements in many games like big tiles and makes a lot more easy, smoother. The gameplay is much more smoother, especially the games like Grand Theft Auto 5. Like personally speaking, yeah, it did improve my gameplay a lot. Right click on PC and then go to advanced system settings on left side. Go to performance settings, then advanced tab. Now click on change total paging size. Now click on custom. Now enter same value in both spaces. I want eight gigabytes. So I'm putting in 8,121 megabytes for this video purpose. Now click OK and then apply and then just restart your computer. And you're done. After doing these steps, I can guarantee you for that the performance will be increased dramatically. And don't worry, these steps will work in the fastest pieces in the world to the slowest bunch in this world. And it's fully safe. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope you got really uh, some of the knowledge in order to make your computer run really better. If you got any queries, feel free to comment down in the comment box down below. You can also report your problems in our website as well. We would surely love to help you guys out. Do follow me on Instagram and Discord. We can talk over there. So this is Vibro signing out. Have a great day. God bless you all. And yeah, you can Hindi me in Hindi. And you can So yeah, it's just up upon you in which language you want to ask. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I uh, hope you have a great day. God bless you all. And stay safe in this quarantine period. That's all, guys. Have a great day and bye.